that we go back into the past. It is a matter of time until we meet up with the great era of eternal darkness. There's no beginning to something we know is infinitely big like the universe. But apart from explaining on how the universe got created, there's always a story about Cypher's origin. The first civilization ever to be held in the ancient past of the universe was an insect like race called Cyclonians. A genderless race with an excellent capability to alter their superior spec force to perform large wonders. Cyphus, who was a Cyclonian from the start, was very skilled in this matter. But with great power comes great responsibility. They have not committed all of the superhero movies. The Cyphus' great powers. And with the Cyclonian's way of thinking, like a remorseless act, it led to a complete mystery to his race and made a great physical impact on the universe. An accident that I ran a kick in the whole Cytonian race and plunged him into darkness and despair. But as you see the black star in the skies, his home will still remain the ground of death or that incident. After a long time wandering in this desolate world, he wanted to make everything right this time. He created a kingdom of his own and filled it with all kinds of plants and animals from planets all around the universe. After he was done, it was something missing. He wanted some cute stuff that would company him. He took two souls out of two individual animals and infused them with his own spiritual energy. Bash them into two stones and make it for the beings inside them to take shape. After a long time, the rocks crumbled, and out of them came two shimmered, bright and shiny sizes. But their appearance changed considerably as it grew, as well as their personality. One became dark and destructive, and the other became golden and constructive. After ages, they made a coin of fossils kingdom, as the dark one kept destroying things for her own amusement, while the other cleaned up after a mess. Scientists did not want this to continue, so he made a world for the wicked. And a world for the good. And then Cyphus sent them to the reality to me, where they could do as they want. Cyphus had not yet decided a name for them, but their personality was enough to inspire him to name them Tink and Tarnel. <laughs>